Subscribers, <laughs> that was my mama. That's true. Cool. <laughs> We're about to go to El Torito for Taco Tuesday, one ninety nine tacos. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> they said they already had a split. They're going there. They said they already had a split. <laughs> yeah, we're seated by the bar area. Hey, hey. Is this you two? No, Dom is over there. Dom and Reggie's over there. Reggie! Yes. I miss Reggie. <laughs> hi, Rodney. What's up? Say hi. What's my video can say that. No, <laughs> you don't saying. get one. What's up? What's your vlog called? It's Kiki's called Diaries. <laughs> Kiki Diaries, like it's, Snapchat. It's whatever. Queen KJD is my name. Have you been drinking already? No. Why? I'm just, I'm just happy to see you, Rodney. Hi, Kiara. You're her favorite. Yes. She loves her fans, y'all. This is Rodney. She loves her fans. And Mir Mir. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much. <laughs> she really appreciates it. <laughs> so, where do you have to you know, you have to get your ticket over there, by the way. Okay. So he's upset because he he made a personal decision not to eat meat and he's at El Torito and don't don't care to be here so he has an attitude with no, his lip poked true. out. I love my Mexican food. I just don't like I don't eat meat and I don't really like El Torito. So okay, Aaron, so why are you here? It's nasty because I'm a good prank here. Take notes. <laughs> well they have three dollars off appetizers. No, that's not gonna work. for a group but you know they have to make the, the shell look tearing this food up tearing it up is it nasty it ain't the best thing I ever had I ain't gotta come back <laughs> look I'm shy Icky, icky, icky. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's that? What's that? That's how you know she never go nowhere. That's how you know you don't go nowhere. <laughs> Dress? Look. Here, girl, for what here? Where are you going? Oh, these clothes are old. This is from Sunday. <laughs> you know, I went somewhere Sunday. I went to church. Did you? Did you get your life? Were you I blessed? Did. I was blessed. It was a cute. We combined churches with this other church. Uh huh. And it was this cute. Right? So I was up there taking pictures and then he sat on the road next to me. He wasn't looking at me though, but it's fine. He was still cute. <laughs> it was good to see somebody cute in church because I don't have it. He was clapping and praising the Lord. I said, holy music. Come here, let me pray for you. Come here, hey, I'm a part of the greater ministry. <laughs> This is what you have to do when your waitress refuses to split the check. So you gotta get everybody's total. That's a lie. She's gonna do it. She already wanna do it. I should be an accountant because I know money. Juice at the store. Here, can you buy me some juice? It's annoying. Oh, your vlog? Yep. 
You're on candy camera. <laughs> eek, 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 eek. Oh, you have it. Here you go. Yeah, All right. <laughs> 155. This is a park hopper and it's a park hopper. Get that. Thought it was 100. I gotta connect. Girl, that's why I got a pass. So I came back to my dorm to put on like some more chill clothes. Cause we're just gonna chill. Everyone who was there and it's cold outside. Just had to put on a beanie. And yeah, so I will see y'all. Oh yeah, we don't have a class tomorrow, in case you're wondering. We don't have class tomorrow, so it's a holiday. Veterans Day. So yeah, we're just like all out to chill and take advantage of this night. Cause that's what you do in college. And um yeah. What's up y'all? So it is Wednesday and we don't have class today because it's Veterans Day. And um, basically I just plan on finishing this, well not finishing because I didn't start, but basically like doing this paper is due tomorrow. Um, like this media critique thing. Um, and then like my room is a mess, like for real. Like, I'm, I'm a pretty clean person so like the fact that it's like this, it's not, it's not me. Um, and go to the grocery store. That's pretty much, I want to go to the gym today, but the gym closed at two, and I slept in until like 12. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Oh, and washing clothes. I should like be washing clothes right now. But I just wanna get this paper out the way so I can feel like I can do something with my life, so yeah. Pretty much, nope. Yeah, my room is dead too. I'm kind of chilling today. So it is 6.28 and I'm still working on my paper but I take a break because I take a nap. It was like, like four. I took a nap. Then I had to like wake myself up because it's like, yeah, you're not sleeping until the next day, right? Wake up. So I'm like literally halfway done with it. I'm not counting the pages. It's three to four pages. I just made it onto the third page. But as far as the content that I have to cover, I'm like halfway done. So I'm just trying to knock it out by seven. Let's see if I can knock it out by 7, 7.15. I still didn't clean my room, didn't go to the store. I took out some food that I need to cook because I don't have any food. And I am spent so much money on food this month that I'm like out of money already. And what is the what? The 11th? Y'all gotta be better. Like, y'all just have to pray for me because I spend my money literally on food and getting my nails and my eyebrows down and gas and my phone bill. That's where it goes, but it's not enough. And I really like when my nails are done. I got them cut down recently because I've been inspired to start playing my guitar again. So it's like I need short nails and I can get a whole bunch of fall colors. So this is gel. I just had to cut them down and just put gel on them. I didn't even get like acrylic filling. She just kind of fouled. You know how they use the brush and a little tool to buff them down and just put gel overlay. So yeah, and I got my toesies black too. Toesies black. But yeah, I'm just I'm procrastinating right now. I'm watching Life with the Logans. I love, love, love watching them. I like their relationship that they show, um, that they portray. It seems very genuine, and they're both church babies, and I'm definitely a church baby, so it'll be nice to hopefully find out one day in a partner. I'm mean, not in a partner, I'm in a companion um, when God is ready, but I like it. I needed something to motivate me because I was just about to lay in this bed and just feel sorry for myself. I just finished my paper, it's 8.34, and Empire comes on at nine, so I was trying to be nice, because Aaron always comes over to my building to watch it, because like I'm always doing stuff, so like it's hard. And he lives far, and like out here it's cold, it's real crisp, so it's not really easy to walk back and forth. So this time, like earlier I texted him like, oh yeah, do you wanna watch Empire, I could come to you, you know? Cause I'm taking into consideration that I always, that he always comes over here. And he was like, yeah. You know, Aaron always has something to say. So he was like, oh, you finally want to come over here for a change? And I was just ignoring him. I was just like, yeah. Um, but then it took me longer to finish my paper and I need to eat. Like, I haven't ate, I just ate some cereal and barely look pathetic. Like, barely some toast. Um, this is old. Like, I'm a real life bum, you guys. Like, it's so easy for me to do this. Like, too easy for me to live this bum life. But, like, my house is dirty. Like, kitchen. Like, just look just dirty but i need to cook i need to cook this meat and i was like i could come so i told him i was like i can come i'm gonna be late because i need to cook but now it's like it's gonna take me a long time so he's just come over here i'm gonna have to carry smell <laughs> i don't have to 
here. Like, this is why. I'm thinking, like, I mean, I wanted to come. I did, but this is kind of why I don't plan ahead. And I don't tell people for sure if I'm going to be somewhere because, like, I took that nap earlier, which pushed everything back. And so, I mean, like, I want to take a nap. I would have finished my paper earlier. to my floor but I still got to clean up this and let's not even get on my bathroom because that's a mess too good morning y'all so it's Thursday last day of classes for the week and yeah that's what I have on very chill I don't know I may change this jacket it looks weird I need to change. So yeah, I'm just editing um, a vlog that's long overdue from like the end of October. <laughs> but anyways, I really like vlogging because like sometimes life can really put you down and you just and you start looking at other people's lives and you're just like my life is just not it and and I've just been feeling like that lately. I've been going through some things um, and I'm just like sometimes in a funk. And I don't know, like, editing this vlog, it just really allows me to see that I'm really blessed for the life that I live and the family that I have. So vlogging is amazing because it allows me to look back at my life and be like, I do live a good life. Like, I am going to make it. Oh, I remember I was going through that at that time, and then I made it through. <sighs> so, yeah, I just wanted to share that. And I like the way I look right now, like, the way the camera's picking up my background. I switched up my room. I had to switch it up. I really wanted to move my bed because the blinds always wake me up in the morning. Like the sun just peeps through there. I need to get some curtains or something. But yeah, I switched it around. And you can see, I moved the couch. And I put like lights in that corner. So yeah. Just editing my vlog. I'm on duty tonight. I'm going home tomorrow, which I'm really excited about because I just need to be home. Sometimes you just got to be home with your family. And I'm just grateful that I live close enough to drive home. Because being at school, like, 
<sighs> sometimes, like, okay, I'm very grateful that I live alone, but sometimes it gets really, like, lonely, and I need, like, social interaction, and I just start to feel like, I don't know, like, too much isolation is not good for you, and, like, when I'm sad and stuff, I tend to isolate myself, and that's just not good, because then the enemy is just feeding my mind with all types of lies, and it's just, it's too much, so you gotta fight it, but I have been, I've been fighting, and I've been, like, trying to be social, and, like, getting up out the bed and doing stuff, even when it's hard, and I don't feel like it. And that's kind of why I haven't been consistent with my vlogs because it is hard, as you've heard other vloggers say, it is hard to vlog your life when you're not really feeling it. Going to my little brother's football game. Okay. There's Rana. We don't have time for this. It's cold. <laughs> Wait, what? Going, even going. What is that? I forgot this is a high school girl. Right. This is a lot of young men here. <laughs> <laughs> she a cougar, ew. Okay. Is it good or not? Yeah, yeah, hot tacos. Burritos. I didn't say till so five. Yay! It's half time and the score is 2021 and we are down. And this is the first time we've ever been down because we're undefeated. Sun Gospel Choir is singing at the Black Scholarship Banquet and we just pulled up. The sun is in my face. It's too hot to have on all this black. At the Orange Grove Bistro on campus. You could do what? I can reach over and roll his windows down. I'm so close. We'll do it. Let me see. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that space. Nothing but space and opportunity. Get your trash. And girl, you've been holding on to that isolated water bottle for a long time. That's your favorite? <laughs> or you keep track. I got water. You keep track of Oh, I don't have no water for you? <laughs> Hmm. At my dorm. Yeah. Change my outfit. I need more light in here. So hungry, so I don't eat McDonald's, right? So out of all the mornings, and I haven't, had, I haven't seen my sister eat McDonald's in a long time. So she says in the morning, oh, I'm gonna go to McDonald's for some breakfast, do you want something? Girl, you know I do not eat McDonald's. But I got a smoothie, right? So I'm surviving off of a smoothie, and I had two donuts. So I ate one of the donuts, and I get back in the car, and then I see my sister eating the other donut. Girl, but you ain't telling the truth. Sorry, I see my mother asking my sister for the donut, and my sister was like, should I see the donut? I'm like, okay, well here has an eight, and what time is it? It's 151, this is not good. I'm, I have a lot of body mass, okay? I need the blood to flow through my body. So now we're at KFC. In Compton, we in Compton, California. I don't have no energy. It's crazy how, what food does to the body. Like it can really shift your attitude. I'm just, I'm irritated and just, I need to eat.
meeting my friends at BJ's to get some pizookies. It's so weird, like vlogging in public because people really be looking at you. Like, I'm not used to it yet because you're really like just talking to the camera and people really like look, like, what is she doing? It's, I have to get used to it. I just want to know why the TV is so loud. Are you enjoying yourself? I mean, I'm chilling, Max. You know, being. Did you make yourself at home? I had me a cup. I mean, because you don't live here. Okay. You had you a what? I have me a bowl. Hey, follow me on Instagram underscore King Jordan. I'm trying to do so, 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 so. Follow me on Twitter too at. What's my Twitter? Hey, delete that part. What? Delete know. that. Delete the part of me not knowing my Twitter. Yeah, right. At underscore King Jordan as well. And you know, just follow me, you know. That's enough. Thank you. DM me your day. DM me your what? DM me your day. DM me your day. It's mine, Kirsten. Just get out. I'm gonna leave my wallet in here. <laughs> Madam. Thanks. <sighs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. The door, please. Close the door. Grocery shopping for Thanksgiving. You gotta plan ahead because you come here next week and they won't have no food. Ooh. My money, my money. Look at the sky though. It's like raining. And it's cold. I'm getting ready to drive back to school after this. I get sad sometimes. I gotta go back. <laughs> so what's up y'all? I'm back in Northridge. Um, I had a meeting with my residents um, at 7.30, like two of them, one at 7.30, one at 8.30. Um, so like I'm back in my room now and I have to unpack all of my clothes. I always overpack when I go home. And I got, um, I washed clothes, so I gotta undo that. I mean, unpack that. And then I have an assignment that's due tomorrow, which I procrastinated to do. I gotta, like, write this script and stuff, um, which I procrastinated on because I just, like, didn't want to do it. So I just kept doing everything else than what I was supposed to do. Um, so, of course, now I have to do it because it's due tomorrow. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, I, I kind of want to talk to all of my college students right now, all of my college um, subscribers or even, you know, uh, my college-bound high schoolers. Um, like, college is stressful. College is hard. Like, college is not easy. And when I say it's hard, like, I mean the, not, not so much of, like, the work. I mean, that can be hard, you know, like I got a 12 page paper that's due on my birthday. That's, that's just unfair, <laughs> but that's life. So college is all about learning to balance life and like school, you know? So that's where it's hard. And I don't know, like I find, I feel like some college students may like get in this funk to where it's like, we don't like, we're in college and we're questioning like, is this the right thing? Because it's nothing like what we thought it was gonna be. And we're questioning what's life gonna be like after graduation, is all of this work, you know, all this hard work and sacrifice and hours put into assignments and studying and, and all of this stuff, is it even worth it? Is it gonna be worth it? And you just get in like this funk to where you're kind of just like, 
almost depressed in a sense and you just are like I don't know what I'm doing in my life is this even you know like and you start to question am I even supposed to be here and um that's something that I go through and that I am going through right now um and I feel like a, a lot of college students go through that but we just don't speak upon it um but I mean it's it's true and you do go through it and I don't know sometimes it's just like it, it, it can become overwhelming you know but I just have to, I don't know, for me, I just I just go back and I, I channel way back when I first got accepted into the school. And I remember how I prayed to God and I was asking him, like, oh, Lord, I really want to go to college and I really want to go to this school. And I want to be, you know, a first generation student and I want to graduate. And I was so excited and eager when I first got here. And I guess over time, you just get tired because this is tiring. It is. But we have to remember that he never said it would be easy. He never said it would be easy, but you're a winner in the end. Um, so yeah, we, we just gotta keep fighting and just keep holding on. So all of my college students, if you're experiencing the funk, um, or if you have not yet experienced it, not saying that you will, but just hold on. We, we gotta hold on. We, we can't let the funk beat us and defeat us got to rely on the strength of the lord and continue to trust in the lord because sometimes i just be thinking like i don't know what i want to do i don't even to be honest i don't know if my major is the right major for me if i chose it because i'm taking classes and i'm like this is not what i signed up for like i didn't sign up for this why am i doing this and i'm getting tired of doing something i didn't sign up for so you just get in like this funk to where you just like i'm tired i don't have any more fight in me <laughs> you know but you can't, you can't let it defeat you. you Got to keep going. Um, so with that being said, I'm definitely about to go do my homework assignment. Um, and just eyes on the prize. You know, you know, at the end of college, you're gonna get a degree. You know what's promised to you. That's the good thing about college. At least you can see the end in the beginning. You know that if you put in work, you get a degree. If you get a degree, um, and you know the right people, you'll get a job. You know. Um, so we just have to keep that in mind but i'm gonna end this vlog right here because i felt yeah i'm just gonna end it right here but um be sure to let me know you know how you feel and all of my college um subscribers if you experience the funk <laughs> that's what i'm gonna call it the funk um comment below let me know you know let's start a, a discussion about about it let's talk about it and if you you know let's talk about ways how you've gotten out of it because it's just one thing to you know we don't want to sit up here and complain we want to okay this is the issue how are we going to defeat it you know what i'm saying when I say we, I mean me and Jesus. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. See you in my next one. Bye.